determine something, even though it's, I think, gone one in the morning. But I can't really sleep properly because I was just thinking, why is having a different opinion about something with people that the majority of the time you're actually like-minded to such a bad thing? Like, there are issues in the world that are kind of complex issues in regards to certain things that I either have or would like to discuss on my channel, but I'm wary of passing my opinion on these things in regards to certain things because I know that friends of mine that see this, that even though they do think similarly to me on the majority of things, won't like certain things that I say in regards to those things. You can't agree entirely with every aspect of a subject that you do agree with people on but obviously don't agree with everything about it so like i watch a lot of youtube and obviously i do youtube now and certain things come up by a me being part of groups and stuff in the past that okay right um this feminism issue whereby it's brought up a lot that there's a wage gap like say there's a man and there's a woman and they're working the same job and the woman is getting paid, say, £5 an hour, and the man is getting paid £6 an hour. But they're both doing the same job, um, for the same amount of hours, etc. But the, apparently there's a wage gap that the man, even though he's doing exactly the same as the woman, gets more. And apparently that's because he's a man. No other reason. He's a man, so apparently he's superior or something. But I'm not getting this wage gap thing. It doesn't matter how many eight videos about feminism I watch. Um, my understanding is that there isn't a wage gap. And um, yeah, this is why expressing an opinion about things like this um, draws a lot of alternative opinion because apparently there is a wage gap and me saying that there isn't a wage gap is wrong because men apparently earn more for doing the self same job as a woman so if there's a woman in any kind of high powered job and then there's a man in the same high powered job the man's going to be earning more than the woman but my understanding has been that that's not how it works the man isn't earning more than the woman because he's a man and like there's other subjects as well like um abortion yeah which is another complex issue and i suppose it ties in a way with the whole feminist thing and the part of the problem is that i'm going to be attacked for this just being my voice and me not actually being on camera facing up to people looking into the camera it's just my voice but abortion is a complicated issue i agree that a child shouldn't be aborted 
never said that I don't agree. What I'm saying is that it's a complicated issue because there are instances where a woman becomes pregnant not because she's consented to like becoming pregnant there's something that's happened let's refer to it as a sexual assault rather than saying the other word right she's been sexually assaulted in one way or another by a relative or somebody that she knows or something right so like they've found some way of impregnating her now at some point during the pregnancy that T becomes a human life and obviously you don't think you're not allowed to abort a child after a certain amount of time I think it's 24 weeks or something like that that's the cut off point you can abort a, a baby or a fetus whatever you want to refer to it as up to 24 weeks I think but um, I don't think anybody's taking into account that yes it's a human life at a certain point right and you've got to think of mentally how it is going to affect that woman if everybody is telling her that her body isn't her own now because she's got this other life inside her and telling her that she has to carry that human life to term give birth to that little boy or little girl and then i don't know give it up for adoption but the trauma that the person has experienced in having been sexually assaulted and ended up pregnant from that sexual assault and then the further trauma that it's going to cause that person that woman and having to carry something inside her that she never asked for right and I don't think that any woman is saying that it doesn't deserve to live right no one's saying that a human life doesn't deserve to live but you're telling a woman that she has to carry another life to term and give birth to something that she didn't ask for so not only has she experienced the trauma of the sexual assault by whoever it was she's then got to go through the experience of carrying an unwanted pregnancy to term and giving birth and then give it up to somebody who may not be able to get pregnant and have children um, we don't have the right to tell somebody that they can't abort that child we just don't if you're somebody who had consensual sex with the intention of getting pregnant or I don't know even if you didn't intend to get pregnant but you had consensual sex with the risk of getting pregnant and then you abort that child right um if you were do if you've got pregnant because you think you're going to get housing and you're going to get this benefit and that benefit right i mean that's different to i mean you don't get pregnant just to get things you don't get pregnant just so you can get child benefit and child tax credit and so a, a baby is not an object a baby is another human life but I stand by the fact that even though I'm saying that yes the baby is another human life and after 24 weeks it especially is 
considered to be another human life, we do not have the right to tell a woman that she has to carry a baby to term that she didn't want to get pregnant with that was a result of a sexual assault. We don't have that right. And that's what gets it complicated for me because I would never have aborted my children. I just wouldn't. I didn't intend to get pregnant, but the fault wasn't on my two boys. The fault was on me. It was accidental, but I love my two sons and would do anything for them. Um, the complication is if my sons if either one of them had been the result of a sexual assault, um, the effect on me, who already has mental health issues anyway, um, the deep depression that it could have put me into, the anxiety that I would have gone through, that this unwanted um, life was growing inside of me as the result of somebody forcing themselves on me and having people tell me that I have to do that and having people form a right over my body and tell me what I can and can't do when it's still my body and if I found it too traumatic to carry on through to full term and give birth to a baby that would have been my right um, to abort that child to abort either one of my two sons that could have been the result of a sexual assault now I don't know what rights a perpetrator of this crime would have would they have the right to say, I mean, it's just as complicated. Does somebody who sexually assaulted you get the right to tell you that you can't abort their um, unborn child, even though they've put that unborn child inside you because they sexually assaulted you? Can they go to court and stop you from getting rid of that child? Um... Or if you do carry a term, can they stop you from having that child adopted? I mean, this whole issue around these things and how complex it is and the whole f is it tied to feminism and telling people what they can and can't do and that men get more privileged than women and men get more money than women and all this. This is why I don't think I'm a feminist, but maybe in certain ways, I don't know if the opinions that I'm expressing make me more a feminist or an anti-feminist or what. This is just an opinion that I'm expressing about this um, system of um, belief that it seems like a belief that as a feminist or as a woman or something that we are allowed to be outraged that a woman has been sexually assaulted and wants to abort the result of that sexual assault and because it's a human life and what about the life of the person that was sexually assaulted? Really, isn't it up to the person whose body it is, what they do? That's why it's so complicated as an issue, and it's one that I've spoken about before, but not, I don't think, as in-depth as this. And maybe I should have appeared on camera instead of doing this at this time in the morning um, in a blackened room. But I just... There's so much more things I'd rather be doing. I'd rather re reviewing the Gone Girl movie or reviewing the Theory of Everything movie 
is I just sit in talking about Tim subjects that I'm going to get accused of not knowing anything about because I've not experienced a sexual assault and I don't know if I'm a feminist or an anti-feminist or in which aspects of socialism I agree with or disagree with and all these other complicated issues and Nim I don't have the best voice I know I don't have the best voice and it doesn't help that it's the early hours of the morning and I'm awake partially because I've been having dizzy spells and I had some chest pains for a couple of days and how we take care of ourselves is up to us how we take care of our bodies is up to us we have that personal responsibility that nobody has the right to take away from us okay fair enough there are laws and there are rules but still ultimately we have the choice of our own being pro-choice or pro-life and all this stuff and telling somebody what they can and can't do right ultimately the whole point of being given our own brains is to make up our own minds what we want to do with our lives with our bodies right as long as we're not going out like mass murdering people and doing all these crazy things i mean yes there are people that do that but jim this is why it's complicated because it's seen as murder to be taking the life of an unborn child regardless of how that child got there if that child got there by sexual assault it's still murder because it's a human life especially after 24 weeks but um, it is taking into account the opinion of the person who's got that life growing inside them how it will affect them whether or not they want to keep the child that was a result of a sexual assault um they like, prove somebody that they know so i just wanted to well i didn't really want to do this rather than the reviews of gone girl and near theory of everything but it's just playing on my mind from watching some of the people i watch and um, talk about feminism and anti-feminism and stuff on youtube and near yeah, i walked past some people that pray outside a clinic where people can go women can go to possibly have an abortion um sometimes when i'm walking into town i go past that place i'm not quite sure where it is when i'm on a bus but i've walked past it a few times and i've seen some people from possibly a catholic church because they have rosaries uh, praying outside for the lot of the unborn children that could be getting aborted in there and uh, it's another way of um, looking down on a woman without understanding how she got in that position we don't all open our legs like some promiscuous thing for every man and then get pregnant right that's not how it works all the time some people um, were pregnant through no fault of their own through a sexual assault and standing there you uh, judging them when they're already feeling like absolute crap and so traumatized just seems wrong to me so anyway this video is turning into a 20 minute opinion and uh, maybe it'll get a lot of reaction maybe it won't um please try to keep the uh, comment section um attack free it's no good attacking me for my opinion because my opinion is not going to change anyway in regards to these kinds of things people who know me um, know that they've ended up blocked on social media for attacking me rather than having a proper discussion um, please share i know it's long but please share if you can on social media and like the video if you did like this and i will see you hopefully with much more positive videos soon bye bye